Hi, welcome you all. In today's class, we are going to see zeros in the quotient. This is the third subdivision. Now, we are going to see the example sum. First sum, 604. 604 divided by 6. Our rule 604 is divided by 6. Let's start the class. 604. 604 or 604 is going to divide by 6. So, first, what are you going to do? This is a what? Um, you know that this is a dividend and this is a divisor. This is a dividend. D I V I D E N D dividend. And this is what? Divisor. Divisor. Okay. So, 604 is going to divide by 6. This is the first step. So, first you have to compare this is 1s, 10s, 100s. 1s, 10s and 100s. So, first you have to take the 100. So, 6 and 6 you are going to compare. Okay, 6 is compare with 6. Okay, it's a dividend, it's a divisor. So, both are equal. So, it is, it is, what is in, it is enough to divide. So, 6 1s are 6. 1 you must write in the quotient place. 6 1s are 6 you must write. Then 6 minus 6 you can get 0. Okay, so compared with 0 and 6, 0 is not, 0 is what? Less than 6. So, 0 is not enough to divide. 0 is not enough to divide by 6. So, what you are going to do? You have to bring the next digit. So, this also what? 0. So, 0 means what you are going to do? You can't divide. This is it. This must be cancelled. So, you have to 6 minus 6, 0. 0 is cancelled. So, you have to bring down the next digit. So, 0 and 6 is going to compare. 0 is not enough to divide by 6. So, what are you going to do? So, you have to put 0 in the quotient place. You have to put 0 in the quotient place. So, what are you going to do next? So, 0. Now, what is this? 0 you have to bring down. For 6 minus 6, you can get 0. So, I cancel the 0. After that, what is the number? So, 0 is compared with 6. It's not enough to divide. So, again, you have to bring down the next digit. It is also 0. So, 0 again compared with 6. So, 0 less than 6. It is not enough to divide by 6. So, you have to put 0 in the quotient place. So, 6 into 0, again, you can get what? 0. 0 minus 0, you can get again 0. So, you must cancel it. So, again, you have to bring down the 4. Bring down the 4. So, 4 is compared with 6. So, 4 is less than 6. 4 is less than 6. So, 4 is not enough to divide it by 6. What are you going to do? So, again, you have to put 0 in the quotient place. That is 1's place. So, 4. So, what are you going to do? 4, you have to stop. Because there is no number hereafter. So, you have to stop. So, this is the reminder and this is a quotient. So, that is very clear. I will repeat once again. 604 is going to divide by 6. First, you have to take 604. So, 6, what is what 6 you have to take? This is a 100 place value. The number is 6. Okay. 6 is going to divide by 6. So, 6 is equal to 6. So, 6 1s are 6. Okay. 6 1s are 6. You must use a 6th table. 6 1s are 6. You have to write 6. So, 6 minus 6, you can get 0. You must cancel the 0. So, what is the next digit? You have to bring down the tens place value. That number is 0. You have to bring down the 0. So, 0 is going to compare with 6. 0 is less than 6. So, it is not enough to divide it by 6. So, what are you going to do? You have to put 0 in the what? You have to put 0 in the quotient place. So, 0 into 6 again 0. 0 minus 6. Uh, sorry, 0 minus 0. You can get 0 only. I just cancelled the 0 also. So, what I am going to do, the next digit I have to bring down, what, 4. And 4 is compared with 6 again. 4 is less than 6. So, 4 is not enough to divide by 6. So, what you are going to do, you have to put 0 in the quotient place. This is what, 100, this is 10 and this is 1. Okay. So, 4. So, 4 is a reminder. So, quotient is what, quotient is what, that is 100 and quotient is 100 and reminder is what, 4. 100 and reminder is 4. So, you just want to check means what is this? Check, you know that very well. How to do the check method? That is quotient into divisor plus reminder. You can get capital D that is dividend. Okay, small d. It is a divisor. Quotient is what? 100. 100 into divisor is what? 6. Then plus reminder is what? 4. So, 100 into 6, you can that 6 into 100 or 100 into 6, you can get First, you have to multiply only the numbers. 1 into 6, 6. Then you have to add the two zeros. Then plus 4. So, 600 and plus 4. 
that is what 600 plus 4 4 0 again 6 just adding okay the answer is 604 600 and that's 604 or 604 you can get the what dividend you can get the question that is the right answer so if you find the quotient and the reminders both are correct i think so you understand the what zero in the quotient so zero in the middle position that is what zero in the quotient means the dividend you can uh, in the dividend uh, this is a dividend in this uh, this is a dividend it is in 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 the dividend zero in the middle of the place okay but what is this quotient that is zero in the quotient so in the quotient place two zeros are coming so zeros in the quotient it is exactly right so in the quotient place you have two zero though so the title is exactly right zero in the quotient that means hundred is a quotient and reminder is four i think so zero in the quotient you understand very clearly this is the example sum only